recommend, oh my God, an all day wear test. Back to beauty. <gasps> oh, sheer. Do you have glaucoma? Sometimes I can miss things. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today we are gonna be doing a full review on the YSL new Bare Look Skin Tint. I have purchased this before. I actually purchased it over a year ago whenever they launched this to do a full review. And I think I included it in a haul and I thought I had done a full review, but I have not. So that's why we're gonna do that today. And when I bought it and hauled it, my little Pomeranian Tex decided that the packaging looked tasty and he chewed it up. Thank God he was fine from, you know, ingesting minimal product. But I thought it would be interesting to go back, see if I liked it. This was sent to me, but I have purchased it before. But YSL did send this to me in my shade, the shade New One. I remember liking this. I remember, you know, using it a few times before Tex absolutely destroyed it, I just didn't repurchase it because other things were being launched and this is my job. So I tend to roll into the next thing, but I'm glad we're gonna put this to the test again today because brands are releasing more and more skin tints as the time goes on. So let's go back to see what she is like. I'm going to be applying, I'm going to be applying the YSL new Bare Look Skin Tint with my fingers on one side and my, and my beauty blender on the other. I remember only trying this with a beauty blender, but some skin tints do, you know, recommend applying with fingers. So we will be doing an all, oh my God, an all day wear test through a workout. If you don't work out, just replace my workout post video with a hot summer day. I'm sure you can imagine that right now. Can't we all, the earth is on fire. Oh my God, the people in Maui. That's just so sad. Okay, we're, we're reviewing foundation though. Back to beauty. <gasps> you get one fluid ounce for $44. The coverage claims that it is light with a radiant finish. It has hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and mallow. And the mallow is supposed to brighten the skin. Glycerin is obviously supposed to moisturize and hyaluronic acid is supposed to plump your skin with the moisture that's already there. It does claim up to 24 hour wear. So again, we will be putting this through an all day wear test and I will check in with you in natural daylight light because products just look different in natural daylight as opposed to studio lighting, which is what we have going on now. And I'll be doing up close, unfiltered shots as usual. I've never used filters on this channel. Oh, oh, it drives me crazy that people use filters. Last little note, there is no SPF in this. So let's give her a try again and see if I still like it from what I remember and see how long it lasts. I will not be using a primer or setting this with powder because I believe that you should not have to purchase helper products to make high-end products perform as they claim. So let's get into this. This is my favorite type of skin tint packaging, which is a squeeze tube. Honestly, foundation as well is heavens. I need to take the eye detection off of my camera because girl, ignore my eyes. All right. So favorite kind of packaging. I think the price point for YSL is pretty uh, decent. So this is the shade one. I have no self tan on. I do have a little bit of natural sun right now because I was out yesterday at the lake. So I'm going to apply the left side with my fingers already. There's a little light scent to it, but honestly, I need to check what percentage is fragrance. I already just, I just don't like finger application. It's just not my thing. I just feel weird applying coverage products. Like I'm applying a moisturizer, but I know other people love applying coverage products this way. But if you don't, you can still get the same warming up effect on the back of your hand, warm it up on the back of your hand, apply with a different application if you were like me and just don't like doing it this way. Okay, I feel like from what I remember, it was light coverage, but I feel like that's like almost sheer, you know? It says light coverage, but in my professional opinion, I would definitely say that this is more of a sheer coverage in the category. Definitely a radiant finish. We'll see if it dries down. All right, thumbnail. Oh, people love scraping products against their skin. I just don't understand it. I'm also gonna use what's on the back of my hand and we'll apply with the beauty blender. Okay, I'm already getting more coverage on the beauty blender side. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below right now, what you think. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I do have glaucoma. Sometimes I can miss things. <laughs> Woo, girl. Yeah, there is a little bit of a light detectable scent. See, I feel like I have a little bit of a breakout on my forehead right now and I feel like the sponge side definitely covered more. And my beauty blenders, when 
I do use beauty blenders, which is the majority of the time. It is just slightly damp. There is no like dripping or anything like that of water to create less coverage. Okay, both sides look pretty good. Okay, I feel like the side applied with the beauty blender is definitely what I would consider light coverage. The side applied with my fingers definitely looks like sheer coverage to me. Again, right now, let me know in the comments what you think and what's your preferred way of applying coverage products and why. Let us know like what effect it gives you and why you like it better. I honestly don't really see, right here I think I have a finger like swipe, but I don't see anywhere else. Oh, there's a Pomeranian hair, speak of the devil. I don't see any other areas I need to press into my skin at all. So I'm gonna leave it just like this. All right, I looked to see where the fragrance was in the ingredients lineup. It is literally the last ingredient in this formula, so that's great to know. The scent was very, very light. I would say it's a little floral with a little citrus, but it is dissipating as I'm speaking, so that is wonderful. Do I wish all products that we put on our skin could be fragrance-free? Absolutely, yes. I do understand that some brands use fragrance because it's like, you know, their brand fragrance, you know, their iconic fragrance, but man, do I wish brands would stop putting fragrance in there. I do appreciate it being on light, like last on the list. And I could see brands putting a little fragrance in coverage products last on the list to kind of cut out. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a, like a pigment scent. There's a scent in there when things are fragrance free that can be a little off putting as well, but I prefer no fragrance at all just because I have very sensitive skin. I also prefer no SPF in my coverage products because I have sensitive skin. So, you know, we all have our preferences. So, uh, oh well, not oh well. I do wish it was fragrance free. All right, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, see how each side settles. I really, wow, the coverage is way more on my right side. And I will be right back and see what this looks like after we have let it sit for a minute. Back to beauty. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's check in. It is now 3.53. I filmed two other videos and ate lunch. So this has been sitting on my face for a while. I have to say, I feel like I remember liking it better than I am currently right now. And I feel like you'll be able to see the trouble spots I'm about to point out better once we get outside into natural daylight. But let me just remind you which side is which. The left side is and I just wiped my face with my finger. The left side of my face is finger application and the right side of my face is sponge application. So let me know which side you think looks best right now. I can tell you right now that I think personally and somehow I got lipstick on my cheek right there. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. That little spot has been dabbed. Anyway, to me, both sides look great. I'm still seeing more coverage on this side. I do agree this has a radiant finish. Now let's zoom in. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's get those hair out of our face. So the problem areas that I am seeing are honestly all my nose. Now I do have dry skin where most people end up a little oily. So nose between my eyebrows and my chin are very dry. I don't know if you guys can see this quite as well as I can right now, but I feel like you'll be able to see it better outside. But take it in, take it in, let me know your thoughts. If my nose wasn't dry, I would say this is reminding me of the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint with a touch more glow. So comparatively to Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Tint, which is, ooh, my favorite. <laughs> I have tried a lot of skin tints this year and that one really blew me out of the water. So anyway, I feel like this is reminiscent of Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Tint except for less coverage. So, you know, definitely light coverage on the right sponge side. And to me, it's more sheer coverage on the left. Now let's head outside to see what this looks like in natural daylight. All right, you guys, here we are in natural daylight and lipstick on our retainers again. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> anyway, filmed a couple more things. It's now almost five. I took a drink of water before I stepped out here and it went all over my face. So, oh look, and there's a drop there. Okay, this is what we're looking at. Honestly, from afar right now, girl, I feel like I look 
good. You know what I mean? Like you just feel good. You look good. But up close, there are some problem areas. So I do have a small breakout on my forehead. I'm not quite sure what it's from. Anyway, so this is the side that I applied with my fingers. And this is the side that I applied with my beauty blender. So it's picking up on a little dryness, but I've been saying this in my recent foundation reviews. I'm 34. I don't expect things to be perfect. Here is the main problem area that I showed you guys inside in in studio lighting. It's my nose. I'm not quite sure why it looks so dry. I don't feel like my skin is particularly dry on its own right now, so I'm not sure why that looks so dry. Oh my god, I have so much lipstick on my retainers. So here is the finger side. Here's my fine lines kind of breaking up around the fine lines, but I mean I've been talking all day filming all day so lots of facial expressions i'm a human being right side kind of the same effect but overall i think it looks really good other than the dryness on my nose i mean my nose skin is dry right now i don't think it is i think it's just picking up on the dryness there now it could be helped with like a setting spray and then pressed in with my beauty blender you know that would help it but today we're on its own girl on its own uh, and it's lasted all day pretty beautifully i've had my air and conditioning on and off because i do have window units i live in a very old house so it's kind of listed a little bit of sweat but now let's see this 24 hour wear we're gonna put in a push day which is upper body and then hit outside and it is very hot and we are under a heat warning. So we're really putting her to the test. Let's go. It's really not. It's kind of beautiful, except for my nose. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, I'm literally still sweating. I was trying to stop for a second until it all settled, but it's just so hot outside. It's so hot, the police have arrived. I mean, I've been out here for an hour and that just happened. Okay, so here we go. It's crazy to me, I was thinking about this when I was working out, how I can sweat like through makeup. It Nothing looks truly disturbed. You guys let me know in the comments now what the worst part is to you. The left side, this side here, is the finger application, which is holding up really well. And the right side here, is the sponge application which is also holding up really super well so i'm i mean i still feel like i look pretty fresh faced so i'm pretty impressed and my nose looks less dry oh again you guys he did not tell me i had lipstick on my teeth thanks um okay but i'm gonna dab my face let this settle down see what it looks like at the end of the night and we'll be back later after we've had lots of water oh hi hello it is the end of the night it is almost nine o'clock so i have had this skin tint on the ysl new bare look skin tint on all day through a workout we saw what it looked like in natural light so nine so almost 12 hours I've had this skin tint on and had a full work day and honestly if I just sit back, you know I think it looks beautiful when I look up close. I obviously see some flaws. So let's get into that Okay, so it really ended up looking super powdery on my nose on both sides and on I didn't powder this down. I told you guys that I didn't use primers, nothing like that. So it's not like there would be a reason other than maybe I'm just going through a dry skin issue on my nose. Now I did dermaplane. This hit me earlier. I did dermaplane like a couple days ago. So maybe I kicked up some extra like dry skin or something, but it doesn't look like this anyway else on my face I feel like this wore down beautifully you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think um, again the uh, left side your right is finger application I still after the entire day has been gone through I still feel like it is definitely lighter coverage than the beauty blender side I feel like this is true light coverage and I feel like over here is sheer coverage and I like both so if you're somebody who likes applying with their fingers you can apply with your fingers get a little less coverage with this or opt for a beauty blender get a little more coverage overall I like the finish I will continue to use this. I'll figure out my nose. I don't know what the heck. If I figure out how not to make my nose look like I over powdered it when there's no powder there, the only area I powdered was my under eyes. So I don't know what in the heck <laughs> that's about, but I will update you in the info box or in the comments or both um, and let you know if I got it to not look like that. But other than that, I feel like it looks really beautiful. I mean, just think almost 12 hours of wear. You guys saw how much I sweat. I even bathed 
in a bathtub, didn't wash my face, but you know what I mean? Like after all those workouts, I bathed. I feel like it just lasted beautifully. Again, the YSL new Bare Look Skin Tint is $44 for one ounce. And I love the packaging and you know, I think I will definitely be using this more often if I can get my nose to not. This has gotta be dry skin because nowhere else looks like that. It's really confusing to me right now, but who knows? Again, I'll keep you updated. Let me know what you think, which side you like best. Have you tried this skin tint? I feel like it just kind of flew under the radar a bit, even after I first purchased it over a year ago. I feel like I don't haven't seen anybody talk about this. So I'm excited to use it uh, a little bit more, get a little, little more familiar with it. But go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my foundation reviews and subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you in this beautiful, positive, unfiltered community. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Also, what should I do a foundation face off with this? I feel like it's very similar to the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Tint. I know I've already done a foundation face off with that skin tint. This is so close. I might do it with that unless you have another one in mind. So let me know in the comments. All right, I'm gonna go wash my face. I will see you guys in the next one. Do you have glaucoma? Sometimes I can miss things. All right.